So we are saying, ladies and gentlemen, that mid-ordinate rule is also used in numerical integration to determine uh, the approximate area under a curve or determine the approximate value of an integral. So if we have the integral of a function f of x from a to b with respect to x, this is going to equal to, actually is going to be approximately equal to, it's not an exact value, but approximate. So it is going to be y, um, it's going to be h, it's going to be h, h into y naught plus y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus dash dash up to yn. You can see this is almost the simplest. And this is where it picks this formula from. You know, if we consider a function f of x of this nature, we have x values here, and then we take a function of this nature. We are majorly uh, looking at the, the equations that are approximately equal to or approximately comparable to the quadratic equations. Now, if I consider the interval from, for example, here up to somewhere there. Now, if I divide this, this area into a number of portions, okay, and remember this is... Uh, x0, x1, x2, x3, dash, dash, up to xn. Now, the mid-ordinate rule says, if I divide these uh, sub-intervals into, into half, okay, so that we have um, this portion divided into halfway, this side and the other side. Now, if it meets here, if, it, if a line hits this curve, okay, and uh, I draw, I draw a rectangle. If I draw a rectangle, that is a rectangle here. Uh, that means from this point to this point, uh, I have this portion which is outside the graph. And in most cases, you find that this which is outside the graph is always approximately to the one which is inside the graph. I do the same thing here, and um, I also make sure that this is a rectangle. So the, this portion that is outside here is approximately equal to the portion that is uh, inside the graph. So I do the same for this, and when I do that, I make sure that I get a rectangle, this, I do this, I find that um, whatever is inside here is uh, almost cancelling with whatever is outside there. I do the same by dividing this into a half, then I also draw a horizontal line. So whatever uh, goes out, I'll find at the end of the day, if I add the portions that are outside the curve, vis-a-vis uh, -vis those uh, portions that are inside the curve, they are likely to cancel out each other and I will be remaining with, I will be remaining with the rectangles. So that's why if I have, um, if I have uh, this being my y naught, this being my y n, okay, the distance from, um, from here, to there is actually going to be h, but then I'm going to be establishing my my y naught up to y n will be starting from around here. So this is going to be y naught. Okay, I'm going to establish my y naught from the uh, from the ordinate, the mid ordinate. That's why it is also called the mid ordinate rule. So this becomes y1, y2, y3, up to yn. yn is that last mid 
coordinate value. So that's why it is called the mid ordinate. And therefore, remember area is equal to length times width. So if my width is, if my width is, is equal to h and my length is equal to the y value, like y naught, y1 up to yn, then I will have area a1, area a2, area a3 up to area a n, and therefore I will find that I have area a naught, which will be y naught times times h. Okay. Uh, then area a2 will be y y2 times h dash dash up area a n which will be y n times h therefore total area will be a which will be a y not h plus y1 h plus dash dash up to plus y n h so my area will be equal to h into y not actually approximately this will be approximately um, plus y1 plus y2 plus dash dash up to plus y now that's the area we are talking about that area approximately equal to the integral of f of x with respect to x approximating to h into y naught plus y1 plus y2 plus dash dash up to plus y n and that is what we call the mid ordinate mid ordinate rule so in the next uh, uh, video we're going to be looking at an example